prepare speech session, the most nervous session. The next one is okay. Our first speaker is Kent. Okay, uh, my first introduction is when you see Kent, you will smile because he always smiles. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> you always smile with an innocent smile. You think so? <laughs> so you will all smile with him. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, his answer to the question is, his ideal gathering would be something like, uh, to get together with people, he would like to achieve some common goals with them. For example, like playing Pokemon Go with friends. <laughs> and the other one is going marathon running with Toastmaster together, and take a trip or to unfamiliar countries with his family. Okay, uh, he said when people get together to achieve some thing, they can encourage each other and help each other through this uh, process and have a wonderful experience in this. And today is can see one speech. The top, uh, the title is "Every Cloud Has a Silver Lining." Every cloud has a silver lining. Let's welcome Ken. <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie called Silver Linings Playbook? It was a movie act by Jennifer Lawrence, and she won Academy Award for Best Actress of Oscars. And this, this movie is mainly about a divorced man and a miserable woman finally find their true love in their lives. There is an impressive sentence in this movie. If you, if you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining. In fact, it's the meaning behind my name, which was given by my parents. My Chinese name is Qi Yu, which, which means after wiping out all the clouds on the sky, you can see sunlight behind it. My mother wanted me to have the courage uh, to face the darkness and achieve my own goal in my life. Maybe my personality is just, just like my name. When I encounter some difficulties in my life, I may feel nervous and unconfident at the beginning. However, in the end, I will uh, always try to overcome the difficulties. For example, I worked as a mechanical engineer after I graduated from my university. After working for two years, I decided to go back to school to study a master program, also in mechanical engineering field. However, my professor asked me to write codes. Uh, at that time, I didn't know anything about how to write codes. I remember the first practice of sign languages. Print have hello world. <laughs> What's this? Why should I print hello world on the screen? I didn't understand the small humor of programmers. And the worst thing is, uh, my lab is mainly about making micro devices. So no one in my lab, even, even my professor, don't, don't know how to write codes. So I need to start to learn by myself. And then I started to stay in library every day to practice write codes. And sometimes I will try to compile some codes from the internet. And when I press the compile button, I got a lot of error messages. <laughs> so, so sure, I need to Google them. But after I Google them, I got more articles I didn't understand. <laughs> What the hell? I didn't understand anything. So I started to take courses 
in Computer Science Department and Information Management Department. And after a lot of pra practice and struggling for two years, I finally had the sense uh, of how to write codes. And uh, after I got my master's degree, I published a conference paper in Korea and gave an English presentation in public. It was the first English presentation in my life. And now I'm a software engineer now. I think my professor taught me the attitude to learn new things and challenge myself all the time. If you work hard, one day you will have some achievements in the future. After going through a lot of challenges in my life, uh, I realized one thing. Uh, maybe for me, a real confidence is not, it's not like a I'm doing so well now, but it's no matter how difficult it I encounter, I will have the confidence to overcome that. Everything will be fine because if you stay positive, you will have a shot at the silver lining. Toastmaster.